the matter of restoring marine conservation areas, uh, about restoring wetlands, and actually uh, many of those alternative habitats offer a better way to capture carbon uh, than simply planting new trees. So we must focus on the, the full range of habitats and not just on one aspect, however important trees are. And I'll be talking later, if I catch your eye, Madam Deputy Speaker, about deforestation. But I want to say for this section of the debate, talk a little bit about new clause four, why I tabled it, and actually to welcome the Minister's comments, and actually to welcome the announcements from the past week, because I think what the Secretary of State said last week is enormously important if we are going to start to reverse the decline of species in this country. And it's tragic. Now, back in the 1950s, uh, there were something like 30 million hedgehogs in this country. Now that it's estimated to be uh, about one and a half million. That is a catastrophic loss. When I was a child, hedgehogs were around in the garden all the time. I have never, as an adult, seen a hedgehog in my garden or anywhere near it. This is a tragic loss and one we have to work to reverse. Uh, and there's a whole range of reasons why this has happened. It's habitat loss, uh, it's about the, the loss of wildlife corridors, and it's enormously important, I think, we also, uh, in looking at our planning policies for the future, uh, have a focus on how we make sure we maintain wildlife corridors. Um, but it is also, I think, about the protections available. And uh, as the Minister knows, I've had a lively debate with a uh, department over the weeks. Uh, I welcome the approach she's taken. I understand the shortcomings in the existing law. Uh, the, the reality is that it's a nonsense that the hedgehog, which has had a 95% decline in its numbers, is not protected, uh, whereas species that are uh, much less in danger and when numbers are recovering are protected. Um, the existing law protects primarily against malicious action by human beings, but of course uh, not all species that are endangered have faced malicious action from uh, human beings. The hedgehog doesn't particularly, uh, but then some other animals on the list, like the lagoon sandworm, valuable that may be, is not in my view facing direct malicious action from human beings. It does face threats to its habitat, and so do hedgehogs. And the reality is we have a situation today where if a developer is going to clear a bit of land for development, uh, he or she has to do exhaustive work to establish if newts are present. Uh, and you know, much as we love the great crested news, which is a, a fine species, it's not actually endangered in this country. We have laws about it in this country because it's endangered elsewhere in the European Union, happily not in the United Kingdom. But there is no obligation to look to see if other species, like the hedgehog, are present. You can just bulldoze a hedgerow without checking if there's hedgehogs asleep in it. And so what I would like to see for the future is a holistic approach to any new development where it's necessary to do a broader assessment of the presence, presence of species and take action accordingly to protect them and not have a focus on one individual animal as opposed to another. We have too many species that have declined in numbers. We should be protecting them all. Of course we will need to develop in the future to make sure we have homes available for people in this country, but it needs to be done in a careful way protecting wildlife corridors, protecting numbers, ensuring that uh, the steps we take maximise the potential to retain or restore or develop habitats or, of our species. So I welcome very much what the, the Minister has said today about hedgehogs. Uh, I, I think everyone in this House will welcome any measures we can take to protect them. I'd pay particular tribute to the former MP for Plymouth Sutton and Devonport, who was the first champion of hedgehogs in this House. Uh, I hope we'll all be hedgehog champions going forwards, and I'd say to the Minister, we can be holding our feet to the fire to make sure her department delivers.